hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today let's solve this problem beautiful towers 2 beautiful towers 2 and there is a uh, there is, it is a follow problem for a beautiful towers 1 uh, i will attach the problem link in the description you can go and check it out i recommend you to solve that problem uh, before solving this and uh, now let's understand the problem statement in this you are given a zero indexed array max heights of n integers and you are tasked with building n towers in the coordinate line he is saying that he is saying that uh, he is given an array he is given array at every index at every index at every index there is a sum height there is a sum height and a configuration of tower is beautiful we need to make the configuration of tower beautiful if this uh, height of i is less than or equals to max height of i if it is 3 it can be 1 2 or 3 not more than 3 if it is 5 it is can 1 2 3 4 5 not more than 5 it is saying that now you now an array height is a mountain if there exists an index i such that this condition needs to be satisfied what this condition is saying height of j minus 1 less than or equals height of j suppose if you are at this index this is j and this is j minus 1 this is j and this is j minus is saying that j minus 1 should be less than or equals to j and for k k is starting from i i is j now we can say this as k and this height of k and this height of k plus 1 height of k plus 1 should be less than or height of k so the mountain is such that we have we should have one peak we can have one peak we, then we can say that this mountain is beautifully configured and we need to return the maximum possible sum of heights we should return the maximum possible sum of heights so uh, if you say this our mountain can be like this right it can have only uh, one maximum and or our mountain can be like this it can be a flat line here and it can increase then a flat line it can increase then it should decrease then flat line decrease then flat line or else it can be like this or else at the top it can be a flat line it can be phi phi so this these are all my scenarios if you make this heights into this possible shapes then we can say that our mountain is beautifully configured mm, now let's see the constraints constraints are 10 power 5 and in the above problem the constraints will be 10 power 3 uh, it is uh, uh, it is a follow-up version of that now uh, in that problem uh, what we have discussed we have discussed like brute force solution for 10 power 3 for 10 power 3 in order of n square we have solved that what we have done if we are at 5 we are going to left side and we are going to right side and we are building the new heights we started building the new heights then we have made the sum so here here we can see that uh, it is monotonically increasing monotonically increasing and monotonically increasing from the left side and monotonically increasing from the right side so can we use stack stack is used for monotonic uh, whether it is increasing or decreasing we can use stack let's think uh, in terms of stack suppose we are at point this can we calculate all this sum in order of one time complexity can we do this and towards the right side can we do this in order of one let's think let's think whether we can do it in order of one or not so let's see this example uh, let's see uh, i have drawn it three two five five two three suppose suppose you want to make this three as my maximum element this three is maximum element so left side there are no elements so i will saying that my previous will be minus one just i am considering it as of now now you want to make this two this two as my maximum element this two as maximum element then all the elements towards the left side should be less than two right less than two so this three is less than two no right this three is not less than two like uh, what will be my previous minimum will be it will be same minus one minus one if if i want to make this phi as my uh, into max uh, as a peak as a peak of an uh, 
beautiful configured mountain then what will be my minimum it can be two right two uh, it can be two yes it can be two so the what will be my previous one now if you are at five now you are at five what can be my minimum it can be two it can be five and it can be two but we can take it as two now you are at this position now we are at two now if you are at two like what can be my minimum now towards the left side all the elements should be less is there elements less than two yes we have two but this three is greater than two so to make this element flat all this flat uh, i will highlight it all these elements flat to make uh, all these elements flat uh, i can take it as minus 1 because there is no smaller element for 3 for 3 for my uh, uh, previous smaller element will be 2 2 right uh, here i will be 4 now now for 3 and now we are at 3 my previous is minus 1 what will be my answer i can say 3 is my answer now you are at index 1 it is 2 and it is saying that my previous is minus 1 that means this should be a flat line this should be a flat line we should make this should be a flat line uh, what will be my answer will be 2 plus this can be 2 right so it will be 4 it can be 4 now you are at this peak now you are at this peak and you want to make it this 2 and this 2 as a steep as a flat structure so 5 plus uh, this is 2 and this is this is changed to 2 so 5 plus 2 plus 2 it is it will be 9 5 plus 2 plus 2 now edit now if you are at this index uh, it can be 5 yeah definitely it can be 5 uh, this element it can be 2 but this element needs to be 2 so we will increase 5 here it will be 14 you can increase 5 to this to the sequence now if you are at this position at this position you need to decrease all this uh, files right because to make this too satisfied which can decrease all these files to flat if you make all this to flat how many elements are one two three four 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 into two eight eight plus two ten we can get answer as ten uh, if you are at this position if you are at this position uh, my answer can be this uh, until this I have answer as 10 answer as 10 plus extra 3 I am going to add because it it can be a steep it can be it can be at the peak and all these elements can be flat it can be flat that's why we are taking 10 plus 3 in the left sum in this in the similar fashion we gonna calculate the next element next element and then we we gonna calculate the right sum. We gonna calculate the right sum. So if you see, if you want to see the next element, uh, let's uh, let's see from here. Now uh, let's draw to make it uh, more easy. Uh, this is gonna be my three. This is two, and this will be my five five and we have 2 and then we have 3 3 2 5 5 and 3 2 right now in the next uh, we are coming from the right side we are coming from the right side my elements are 3 2 5 5 2 and 3 now it third it third now you want to make this as peak so want to make this uh, towards right there are no elements so i will say minus one now you are at two you want to make this as your peak element so you need to decrease this right you need to decrease this three definitely you need to make it flat then what will be my uh, answer it will be minus one then then if you are at this five at this five if this is a peak if this want to be a peak then this can be my minimum right this can be my minimum so uh, what i will do i will say that in 4 
index 4 is my minimum then when I am at this file then similarly I can say that index 4 is my minimum now you are at 2 you are at 2 you need to decrease all these files to match with 2 right you need to match with 2 then what will be my minimum index it will be minus 1 not minus 1 exactly let's take this as n plus 1 uh, n let's take it as n uh, to make our calculations easy if you are taking it in 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, uh, this will be 6 6 at 2 position it will be 6 it uh, I third third now if you see this now you are at 3 and this is decreasing this is decreasing so I will say okay 2 can be my answer so I am uh, storing the next index as 2 in the right sum in the right sum what we will do now you are at index 6 uh, uh, all needs to be flat all needs to be flat so I will say my answer can be 3 at this point at this point then if you are at 6 if you are at uh, if you are at index 4 then it should be flat so this can be to 2 then it is 4 at index now if you are at this position my minimum is this so 5 plus 2 plus 2 it will be 9 here here same it will be 5 plus 4 plus 5 it will be 14 and then if you are coming to this position uh, this position all needs to be flat 1 2 3 4 it can be 10 if you have this position it can be 30 now we got the left sum and we got the right sum if we add this left sum plus right sum we got left sum as 3 left sum 3 4 9 14 10 and 13 and the right sum 3 4 9 14 10 and we got 13 now if you add this if you add this this will be my 16 if if the position is if you are taking this as my peak it will be 16 this will be 14 23 23 10 plus 4 14 and 13 plus 3 16 now now if you observe it we are adding the elements repeatedly two times my elements got added so at this point at this point we can remove we can, uh, we should remove this element 3 2 this is 3 2 5 5 2 3 you have to subtract it if you subtract it 23 minus 5 it is 18 so my answer is 18 so if you see my output is 18 in this way you can you can solve the you can calculate the previous you can calculate left sum right sum and you need can take the maximum of this so i i hope you understood understood this and try to code by yourself if you uh, if you are not if you not able to code then i will explain like high level of the coding you can see this and you can code by yourself so here to calculate the uh, small to calculate the previous small we are taking the stack and we are pushing zeros in the same way uh, in the stack we will push zeros and i equals to 1 i less than n stack is empty and maximum of we are checking uh, in this we have checked right uh, is, is this maximum of left sum and right sum in that way here we are checking it is greater than the max side then we are popping it then we are popping it or uh, if it is not empty then we are uh, taking the top element and then we are pushing i in this way we are calculating the all the smalls uh, here we are calculating all the previous smalls here i, I am calculating the uh, next small next small then left sum and right sum in the left sum in the left sum uh, i will i will take my previous as we have taken here we will take uh, we will take the previous the uh, left sum previous 
i from here we will get the index and we will see i minus index as we did earlier and then we will add to the left sum in by multiplying it and if this is not equals to minus 1 if it is not equals to minus 1 or suppose my elements are like this uh, for this my minimum can be this but for this for this it needs to be flat right we need to decrease this and we need to decrease this to make it equal to make it flat so that's why we are adding this and in the right sum we are doing the same functionality and here we are calculating the left sum and the right sum and we are subtracting the maximum height i have explained we are calculating two times so we are subtracting it i hope you understand this solution if you understand it please do like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this